afraid of. T minus uh, five minutes and 16 seconds and counting. Let me tell you very quickly what you're going to be seeing and what you can sort of look for on this liftoff. The ignition sequence, the engines fire up nine seconds before the actual liftoff. The uh, hold down arms are thrown away and away they go. That's to build up power and up they go, seven and a half million pounds of thrust. A liftoff comes uh, at that point at zero. Then they kind of uh, yaw a little bit. They turn around and pitch over to start their course out over the Atlantic uh, Ocean from here. At uh, 1 minute and 21 seconds into the flight, they reach the maximum, max Q, it's called, the maximum dynamic pressure. And this is a critical point in the flight. Uh, at that point, if there are any structural weaknesses in this great rocket, they would probably show up. An aerodynamic load of 460,000 pounds on the vehicle. It's eight miles high at that point, four miles downrange. That's when you see the contrail begin right at that point. It's mo moving then at uh, some 1,786 miles an hour. Then in two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, the inboard engines cut off, and just uh, 20 seconds later, the outboard engine of the uh, uh, s uh, 1C, the first stage of the rocket. It's then 40 miles high, 44 miles downrange at uh, then the separation of the first stage and the ignition of the second stage, two minutes and 43 seconds into the flight. And uh, we see the launch escape system. We've seen it jettison in the past at three minutes and 17 seconds. The second stage cuts off at seven minutes and 40 seconds. The vehicle then 111 miles downrange or uh, high and 700 miles downrange, almost in its orbital height. And we have seen that far in the past uh, with uh, these remarkable long lens cameras here. Uh, we may not be able to see that today because of the cloud cover. The third stage then ignites at uh, nine minutes into the flight, and uh, they're well on their way into orbit, and shortly thereafter, uh, in a second orbit around the Earth, into the translunar flight. Jack King of uh, Launch Control here, who will be giving us the countdown from this moment. He is uh, giving that countdown now, and it is at just three minutes before launch. Let's listen to Jack King. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We've just passed the three-minute mark. We've had the firing command. That's the signal that the automatic sequence is now in. And the rest, the remainder of the count, will be handled by the master computer here in the firing room as uh, various of events click off leading up to the ignition of the five engines in the first stage of the Saturn V at the zero, uh, with liftoff at the zero mark in the count. The actual ignition of those five engines will come at uh, 8.9 seconds in the count. We'll have a report of all engines running at the two-second mark. Uh, at that time uh, and over the next two seconds, those engines will be uh, specially checked to assure that we have proper thrust. Once that occurs, we will get commit, meaning that the hold-down arms can release, and we will get liftoff of uh, the Saturn V launch vehicle atop seven and a half million pounds of thrust. We're now coming up toward the two minute mark in the count at this point, the tanks in the vehicle pressurizing. Two minutes and counting. Our status board indicates uh, here in the control room that all aspects uh, involved are uh, ready. Tom Stafford has just reported back uh, thank, uh, that they want to thank everybody for all the help. We're now at T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. We'll go on internal power with the launch vehicle at the 50-second mark. At 17 seconds in the count, the guidance system goes internal. This is guidance reference release. We already have the proper flight azimuth in. Now 90 seconds and counting. Now 90 That's and perfect. counting. The astronauts have turned off their ground communication at this time. However, they are on uh, VHF and, of course, the S-band circuits, as well as the special astronaut communication circuit. One minute, 12 seconds and counting. The vehicle tanks beginning to pressurize at this time. Our status board indicates that the third stage tanks are now pressurized. We're coming up on the 60 second mark. 60 seconds and counting. We are go for a mission to the moon at this time. The second stage tanks now pressurizing and we're coming up on the power transfer. 50 seconds and counting. We have now switched to internal power satisfactorily on the batteries uh, of the first stage, the, all three stages of the Saturn V vehicle. 40 seconds and counting, Tom Stafford making a final check of his computer. The vehicle, uh, all uh, stages pressurized at this time. We're waiting for the swing arms to come back. One uh, should be coming back at this time, a second one at 17 seconds. Tom Stafford reports they are go 
We're coming up on the 22nd mark. T minus 20 seconds and counting. 17 seconds and counting. Guidance internal. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. Engines on. 5, 4, 3, 2. All engines running. Launch commit. Liftoff. We have liftoff. 49 minutes past the hour. Snappy reports the clock has started. The tower is clear. Tom Stafford acknowledges the roll and pitch program to put Apollo 2 in the proper course. Picture will break up a little bit because we are getting buffeted here now by the tremendous reverberations from that great engine. Building is shaking, the cameras are shaking. Jack Riley, Mission Control in Houston. What a ride, man. What a ride. What a ride. Sounds like Stafford saying, what a nice ride. Gene uh, Cernan reporting, what a ride. Uh, Roger, going three minutes two. Roger. Okay. Roger, Roger. 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 One minute, 44 seconds, downrange, seven miles, 12 miles high. They successfully passed through Max Q. Roger, copy, Tom. We're in communication from the space flight. Code 1, Charlie, you're looking great. You're here, no. Go for staging, Ken. You're in the voice of the command pilot, Tom Stafford. Right. And the voice of mission control in Houston. Inboard engines are out. Okay. Roger, right, copy, Tom. EDS all 10. Charlie Duke uh, asking the crew to turn off their emergency emergency detection system. That's staging you saw there. Roger. That was the uh, first Good stage. on the second stage. First stage blowing away from the rocket, leaving now just the second stage, right, third right, stage, on the uh, rocket. Stand on the S2. It's looking good. Uh, okay. Confirm EDS off. EDS off. Roger. Flight Dynamics reports trajectory go at 3 minutes 9 seconds, downrange 81 miles, 46 miles high. Second plane separation, that's the skirt around the engines on the second stage. And the launch escape tower has yet as a... Man, that staging was quite a sequence. Right, sounded like it. And we have guidance of the shape. We confirm that, Ken. Uh, Roger. Yes, it's looking beautiful, Tom. Everything's so pathetic. Uh, Listen to that beautiful communications from that command module. Charlie Duke talking to Tom Stafford. Yeah, I bet. Just like old time, it's beautiful out there. You guys sound ecstatic. Man, this is the greatest, Charlie. Charlie, bad, fantastic, man, really. That's Gene's. Concerning with fantastic. Uh, you're a go. Trajectory and guidance look good. Yeah, Roger. We look right on the line. 